Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. <coughs> and for this one it is Stunt Car Racer for Commodore 64. Uh, now I've already reviewed Stunt Car Racer but I reviewed the Amiga version because like I think the majority of people who had Stunt Car Racer back in the day I had the Amiga version but there was a uh, a version out there for Commodore 64. In fact, there were quite a few versions. I think there was a Spectrum version, which means that there was almost certainly an Amstrad version as well. So, yeah, it was available for the three main 8-bit uh, home computers, as well as the two... Uh, Oh, at the time, two major 16-bit uh, computers, because uh, of course you had the Atari ST as well as the Amiga. Now, I really freely admit that uh, it wasn't until about two or three years ago that I was made aware that there even was a version of Stunt Car Racer for Commodore 64. I always thought that it was only available for uh, uh, the Amiga and the ST. And when I first heard about it, I just thought, because the Commodore 64, as has been shown in several videos already, is not the best computer when it comes to uh, uh, rendering 3D graphics or vector graphics or whatever, which of course this game uses. So, uh, well, we'll start a uh, single player league. Right, so, of course, we start in Division 4, but uh, we can practice any track we like. But, uh, well, let's get a, a racing season underway. So, uh,. My first race then is against Jumping Jack and we are in uh, the little ramp, that's the circuit that we are using. So there is the track layout, so just like the Amiga version it shows you the track layout and you can see it from the various angles before you actually start the race. Which isn't bad. So, fire to continue. And here we go then with the uh, drop start and two cars get winched up onto the track and once we are released it's uh, race on there we go so if you push forward obviously you will accelerate but then you can release for uh, you know pushing forward it will continue to accelerate if you hold down fire button you use the uh, nitrous which uh, is what causes those uh, flames to shoot out of uh, the uh, exhaust there on the uh, engine. I've, uh, I think I'm going to take yet yeah, quite a bit of damage from that jump. Oh, and I nearly came off the circuit. <laughs> Now as you are racing, if you look at the uh, top of the screen there, you see there's a crack that is uh, spreading from left to right. If that goes all the way to the right, we've taken uh, too much damage and the car is wrecked. And also, if you take any like major damage, uh, which will uh, affect uh, the car structurally, you get a hole appearing. Uh, that damage is never repaired, that stays with you right the way through the game. So you really do not want to be dealing with that. But uh, this, uh, the crack that uh, goes from left to right, that is repaired after each race. Now at the bottom there, uh, uh, in the bottom left, see a time L2 so we're on the second lap B21 that's how much boost I have left 
and then below that uh, is the difference between uh, me and the other car I think it's in car lengths so I'm 430 something car lengths ahead the fact that it's a minus means that that's how far behind he is if it isn't a minus then obviously it's how far in front he is then you have the speedo and then uh, on the right hand side is uh, your current lap time as I come off the track and below it your best lap time now coming off the circuit at that time it takes an age to uh, get back onto the circuit so yes the car that was a long way behind me is now ahead of me so I need to because uh, I came off at the worst possible time uh, I seriously need to try and uh, overtake that fucker but I don't think I'm going to make it it's fucking close I think I'm going to hit him yes I did but I have passed him if I can stay ahead of him because uh, I'm about to uh, he's ahead of me now <laughs> this is going to be fucking close but there is the uh, finish line, so he won, but only just. So that uh, was a bit of a fuck up. The race over, so, well, new track records, hardly surprising. I haven't uh, raced before. So now I'm on the. Uh, oh no, that's the result. So, uh, yes, didn't do too good there. I've now basically got to win all three remaining races if I want to get uh, promoted. So now I'm still racing Jumping Jack, but this time it's on the, the humpback circuit. So again, you can see all of the uh, track details just like you can on the Amiga version. The other impressive thing about uh, this as far as what we've seen so far this is single load it's not multi-load at all um, to say I'm impressed by that is a masterpiece of understatement right so off we go that fuckers passed me again This circuit is a lot more difficult than the uh, previous one. He's still ahead of me, but it is rather close. Now he's pulling away. Oh, that's, oh fucking hell, that was close. But I'm now ahead of him. that jump so as you can see there the draw distance is not fantastic but it's not the end of the world I mean you can certainly get a decent idea of uh, the track layout even if uh, so even with that comparatively short uh, draw distance there throwing the car around here but uh, I'm now ahead by a reasonable distance as that's the first lap completed mind you I led the uh, the last race um, until I was about halfway around the final lap and then fucked it up so I'm not taking this for granted He's catching up here, so uh, oh, fucking uh, right. Well, yes, I think uh, 
that was the worst place I could have been trying to correct myself. So because I've come off again, I'm now going to be way behind because he's going to just fly past. There he goes. This is the frustrating part about the game. Um, it takes so long to put you back on the circuit. Now look how fucking far ahead he is of me. So I really do not have a fucking hope in hell of uh, getting anywhere in uh, this race. I'm going to have to use the nitrous rather more than I would like. And, oh fuck it, yeah, I thought I was coming off then. So I am still catching, but uh, such a slow rate. Oh, there he is, so he's just heading around that corner. Because this is lap three, so... Well, this is my last chance. I can't even see the fucking... Oh, here we go. Well, I'm still catching, but again, not at a very fast rate. And again, I think it's going to be fucking close, but he's going to take it. The rear wheels caught the uh, edge of the jump there. And, okay, so I won that one, but that was fucking close. So, there we are, right, press fire. So, I win that one, but, uh, I got the bonus points because I've got the, uh, lap records. But now I'm facing, uh, Roadhog. Well, surely I can do better against him than I did uh, against uh, Jumping Jack. So anyway, here we go then, back onto uh, the little ramp. We've already seen uh, this circuit uh, layout. So uh, I'll finish this Division 4 and then I'll go into uh, practice again to show you any of the other uh, circuits. Uh. So while, while we are doing this race then, let's uh, get the review underway. Uh, so we'll start with graphics. Um, so what was it I was saying about Commodore 64 not being very good at doing uh, vector graphics or 3D? Jeff Cremond has shown that uh, it is very doable. Um, this is this has got to be the fastest uh, 3D graphics and 3D uh, uh, and you know and vector graphics I've ever seen on a Commodore 64, and it shows that in the right hands they can be done well. Um, I think graphically for the for its time and the fact that this is a Commodore 64. I mean, graphically, it is fucking superb. I mean, he's done an unbelievable job getting uh, the uh, vector graphics looking this good and running this fast. I mean, yes, okay, he has he has had to do, um, you know, had to cut the uh, draw distance a bit, but. Uh, I mean, it's not like, you know, the game suffers as a result. Uh, you can still see everything uh, perfectly well. 
so um, yeah graphically fantastic in fact there really is a, a, a huge amount of difference between uh, this and the Amiga version I mean okay the Amiga version the track is grey whereas here the track is the same colour as the uh, you know the, the background uh, graphics here the scenery but other than that I mean certainly when you look at the the speed that they move at the the track you know the, the vector graphics I think are just unbelievable Uh, in terms of audio, okay, there's no music. The uh, engine sound is okay, but I mean, it's nothing remarkable. But then, with the Amiga version, the audio was uh, the, uh, the 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 weak spot. You know, the weak spot. It it's not great on the Amiga version either. It's not awful, but uh, yeah, it's it's not uh, its best feature. And in terms of gameplay, this is every bit as playable and therefore as enjoyable as the Amiga version. Every bit as good. Um, lately I've been doing quite a few uh, Commodore 64 games that are either shit or okay or, you know, mediocre and forgettable. It does make a welcome change to be doing a game that is simply fantastic and this game is simply fantastic so well, it looks like I've got this uh, division sewn up then so we'll do the last race of uh, this one which is again me against Roadhog on the humpback so I should uh, be promoted to Division 3 next. And away we go. So, I mean, back in the day, if you, you know, didn't have an Amiga or an Atari ST, you weren't missing out on one of the top games. You, you, you still had this, and best of all, it was every bit as good on your Commodore 64 as it is on the Amiga and the ST. Um, I would say this is the best racing game on the Commodore 64 and by a distance actually I mean, the Commodore 64 doesn't have a huge number of great uh, racing games it does have some good ones obviously I mean Super Cycle was great Pit Stop 2 was great the first pit stop was pretty good. Um, it does have an awful lot of unbelievably mediocre at best racing games and it has a vast plethora of racing games that are utter shite. Oh that was fucking close. I'm still constantly fucking crashing into this fucker in front of me. Old Roadhog. I think I'm just ahead. No, he's now ahead, now I am. Now he's ahead again. Okay, now this is a close old race. Still only on lap two. Well, I've got plenty of nitrous, so yeah, that's, that's, 
use it uh, a bit more liberally. Oh, fucking hell, it looked like I was heading uh, off then. Right, so, final lap. I mean, I could fucking sit here and play this for hours. And I mean this version. Yes, okay, I can... I obviously got the uh, Amiga uh, disc image. But uh, I could play the 64 version just as frequently. It is every bit as good. damage bar is a long way across. I think I may just... no, I come flying off the circuit so that's me. I've lost this one. My car is in a bad old way. I wasn't actually paying enough attention to uh, uh, the damage meter. It doesn't matter, I've already lost the race. But I think I've already done enough to, yeah, I've done enough to uh, get promoted. So there we go. So uh, everybody won two out of four races. But uh, because I had the fastest uh, lap four times, it means that I've got uh, eight points, whereas the other two have five. So there we go. Promoted to uh, Division 3. I'm up against uh, Big Ed and Bully Boy and the two circuits in Division 3 are Big Ramp and Stepping Stones. Big Ramp isn't a bad circuit but Stepping Stones is a fucking unbearable one. This is seriously difficult. But uh, I mean if I show you one of the uh, crazy ones, so if we look at the ski jump here. I <laughs> Yes. And you do need to time it quite well. Because obviously when you come flying off that uh, sheer edge you need to be going fast enough that uh, you can clear up to the uh, well the ramp that's going downwards so that you can get a uh, a landing on that rather than come slamming down on the uh, you know flat part and take some hefty damage so we put it on the uh, the actual uh, circuit I'll have a quick practice go So how do I rate the game? I mean, it's, it's a 10 out of 10 every time. Um, so I think the Commodore 64 version is every bit as impressive as the Amiga version. And uh, it's every bit as enjoyable to play. Uh, I would not have thought it possible. I didn't think that, uh, you know, the Commodore 64 would be able to do, uh, you know, this sort of, these sorts of graphics, but, uh, oh, fucked up that landing. Oh, and no, 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 that's come straight off. So now there is an almighty weight while we uh, hit, hit the ground. As you can see, I've taken an enormous amount of damage damage is halfway and I've also got the hole there for the uh, structural damage. Thankfully this is only a practice so... I'm going to try and actually reach the ski jump part. And here 
it is, so we need to be going at a decent rate, and off we go. And I've not cleared the, uh, oh, that was fucking close, so I did clear the uh, flat part. And that's one lap done. But yeah, this is one of those tracks where you do need to uh, actually use the brakes. I almost never do use the brakes, but uh, yes, it's important that you do on this circuit. Oh, well, I think I've fucked it again, because I've just bounced up. Hopefully I can stay on the circuit. Yeah. So, down the jump. I think you have to be doing 200 as you hit the uh, end of the ramp, so I don't know... Oh, look at that! Nearly perfect! <laughs> I'll make this the last circuit that uh, I show, because otherwise I'll be here a fucking week. I fucked up there. Oh, no. I mean, I doubt I would be winning any races on this circuit because I'm going far too slowly around here. And I definitely wasn't going for. Oh, I've, I might just make it. Yep, look at that. And there we go, laps over, which means I can now send my car shooting off the edge of the uh, track. <laughs> so, uh, well there you go, so that is uh, Stunt Car Racing in for Commodore 64. It's a fucking superb game. Um, I highly recommend you giving it a try now it is the best racing game on the Commodore 64 and it plays every bit as good as the Amiga version which frankly I didn't think was possible when I first heard that there was a Commodore 64 version of this game but uh, they've done it Jeff Crammond must surely be one of the best programmers of a Commodore 64 if he's managed to pull this off um, so that is Stunt Car Racer then, quite simply, you have got to try this now. Uh, that brings this review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.